Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the manager's journey. Hope you're all well, my name is Liam and as you can see, season 3 with Aldershot Town we have been promoted once again. 102 points, top of the league, only lost 8 games, it was a very, very hard season guys, very hard season. How we finish top, um, you know, if you ask me in the middle of the season... If we had finished top, I'd have said yes. If you would have asked me about, um, I'd say, April time, I would have said, I don't think so, because we started to hit uh, the bad times. Uh, past position-wise, if you look at this, we were top most of the season, and then we got to uh, here, match 41, match 42, match 43, uh, were not good, really. We, even though we won that one, we were into second place and if you check this out Reading were with us practically for the whole season chasing us uh, for that top spot uh, which uh, as you can see uh, they went top there and here so and obviously Bristol City were very very close behind as well it was a very hard season uh, I'm not gonna lie um, but we made it in the end with 102 points, and I'm very, very happy with the uh, with the squad. Uh, awards wise, um, we we'll go to uh, goal of the season. None of our players got it, unfortunately. Manager of the year was myself. Um, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, managers of the month, uh, I won it in September uh, and Feb. Uary, um, so I'm quite quite pleased uh, there. Uh, player of the month wise, none of my players got into the player of the month, uh, but uh, oddly enough, um, uh, Dembele, um, who's on loan with us, uh, he got player of the year, uh, which is fantastic for him. Players team of the year, uh, we got four players in there: uh, Harry's, Dembele, Hamilton, and Wilson. Uh, Wilson is very, very well come along uh, as a fantastic little player um, for us. Uh, and top goal scorer uh, was Stefan Payne uh, for Bristol Rovers. And James Wilson, who I was just talking about, uh, came third, um, which, was, which was pretty good. Uh, and with regards to any young players, we didn't have any uh, get any awards, uh, unfortunately. Anyway, to Old Shot Town Football Club, uh, we've still got a few loanies in, uh, which will be expiring soon. Uh, Ethan Hamilton, uh, CJ Hamilton, uh, Lehe, uh, Dembele and Redan, which is a very, very good player. Club-wise, um, things haven't changed much really, we're still at the wreck. Uh, finances are very good, and I'll show you why in a minute, uh, and facilities are oh, fantastic now I want to go to the transfer history and I want to show you something very important as you can see there my um, my hero and my young player who came through the ranks from the under 18 Samuel Marino uh, eventually did sell, sell to uh, Norwich uh, for 6.25 million um, with hopefully uh, an extra 8 million or an extra 2 million coming uh, with appearances etc etc very sad to see him go He's gone to Norwich, uh, and he's worth 12.25 12, 12 million now, uh, and he had a cr great uh, season from January uh, up until now. 14 at 6 goals, uh, 2 assists, 1 run in the match, and a 691 rating. Not bad, not bad for 14 games. Um, but he was, our, I think I would say, our best ever youngster that we've produced. He was absolutely fantastic, and such a shame to see him go. Uh, in the buying side, uh, with the money, I got in uh, Will Mannion uh, from Hull, who was on loan with us a few seasons ago, uh, who I really, really rate on this game. So I brought him in. Uh, Darren Seedale from Reading, uh, I got him in uh, right on um, the cusp of uh, tra transfer window day. Uh, and the rest are uh, loans, really. Um, Dembele there, uh, Zancuni, I don't think he actually played a game. Uh, even Hamilton's on loan from United who uh, is an affiliate of ours. CJ Hamilton was a cracking little player, um, and, and Matthew Worthington as well. A lot of them have gone back where I've counselled them. They're not all here. As you know, I've just showed you the loanies that we've got. 
uh, some of them obviously expired. So we've we have had a, a, a cracking cracking season, uh, but just a shame that uh, Mourinho uh, or Marino went to Norwich. Unfortunately, funnily enough, though he did want to go to Barcelona, but that uh, that never happened. So in our friendlies, we started off pretty well. Uh, we won every single one. We even beat Manchester United in a friendly. And then our first game of the season was absolutely appalling at home, uh, where we lost 2-0 and we were 2-0 down within 20 minutes, within 15 minutes, uh, which was pretty sad. Uh, but then we sort of turned it around and went on a fantastic non-losing streak, as I'd like to say it. Um, and then uh, until we got to the Carabao Cup, where we lost to Sheffield Wednesday and went out uh, in the second round. We then went back to the league and the Checker Trade Trophy uh, and went on this fabulous run, as you can see. Uh, we lost to penalties uh, to Northampton in the Checker Trade, but we were still winning league games, even with a fantastic 5-1 win over Blackpool, which I was quite shocked uh, myself. FA Cup-wise, we won in the first round uh, against Macclesfield, 3-0. Uh, uh, Checker Trade Trophy, we won 4-1 uh, against Aston Villa under-23s. And then the second round of the FA Cup, we drew away with Oxford 1-1. Um, uh, and we only just say that, as you can see, the 90th uh, plus two minutes uh, uh, stoppage time, which was, you know, pretty bad uh, against Oxford. And then we took them back to the wreck and we smashed them. 4-0, they didn't have a hope, uh, basically. And our old goalkeeper, Jake Cole, uh, scored an own goal, felt pretty sorry for him. Um, and then the Checker Trade Trophy, we beat Reading. Uh, which were our uh, nemesis all season, really. Um, uh, and we beat them at the rec 2-0. Uh, and then Forest Green, we just can't seem to beat Forest Green. Uh, and we lost to them 2-1 uh, again uh, at Forest Green. FA Cup third round, we played uh, Burnley, uh, which was brilliant. You know, nice to see Burnley come to order shot. Uh, we had two players sent off, but we still managed to keep it a draw. We then went to... Um, to Turf Moor, uh, where we beat them uh, on penalties um, for uh, free, uh, which was absolutely brilliant. I was jumping around the room like an absolute maniac. My missus, I think, thought I was uh, ill or something. Um, and then the Checker Trade Trophy third round, uh, we beat Newport. FA Cup sixth, uh, fourth round, sorry, um, we played Burton and absolutely walloped them 6-0 at the Pirelli Stadium. Uh, it was a brilliant game. Uh, and then uh, the Checker Trade Trophy quarter final, we had to play Oxford, which we just played in the FA Cup, of course, and we beat them 2 1. Just a uh, 90th minute uh, stoppage time goal. And then this is something that I still can't get over, and many of you I know aren't going to believe. But we played FA Cup in, uh, we played Manchester United in the FA Cup fifth round, and we actually beat them 4 2. 4 2, guys. <laughs> It's absolutely incredible. I don't. I still don't get it. But if you do look, we did um, score two goals in the 87th minute and the 90th minute. So they were literally on the cusp. Um, which is basically what Man United do to other teams, isn't it really? So it's a bit of revenge. Very happy with that game. Um, but then unfortunately, um, well actually before I go there, uh, Chelsea under 23s beat them in the semi-final with a Czech trade trophy. But um, it wasn't to be in the FA Cup. There was no fairy tale uh, ending. Uh, we lost in the last minute to Norwich 1-0. But we got to the sixth round, furthest all shot I've ever been in their history, so I'm very, very proud of them. We then went to the Checker Trade Trophy final, went to Wembley again for the third season running. We were at Wembley, uh, we lost this cup last season in the final. This year we went ahead and we won and beat Liverpool under 23s with a 90th minute goal. Absolutely incredible. And then, obviously, as you can see, we lost a league game here. We drew a league game there. Uh, we lost here and we uh, drew there. And it was starting to get a bit worrying. And then this was the championship game. Whoever won this game was technically going to go on to win the uh, the championship, really. Um, and luckily, we did it uh, in the 90th uh, minute in stoppage time. Ryan Wilson, uh, our youth player, Come on and uh, scored the cracking winning goal, uh, and we won 3 2, winning, win, going on to win the division. So it has been an absolutely fantastic year with the sale of uh, Marino. Uh, we have got a massive transfer budget, uh, a huge wage budget as well, and our scouting budget is massively high, which is really good. We are looking absolutely fantastic uh, there, um, as you can see, our projection. 
uh, it's not too uh, not too good, I suppose, or what you could say is good. It depends on what we do, depends on what we what we buy and who we bring in and who we sell, isn't it really? Uh, sponsors wise, um, nothing's really changed there. We've got big sponsors, um, and which is keeping us afloat. So basically that's it um for the uh, club side um as you probably remember um i took on the role of uh i took on the role of france under 23s uh, manager so olympics i took them on uh, and we beat uruguay and paraguay in friendlies we then won all our games in the group um 2 0 against nigeria 4 0 against Uzbekistan and 4 0 against Holders Brazil. I think they're the Holders at the time. We then went and beat um, uh, Argentina in the quarterfinals 3 0, USA in the semi finals 2 0, and unfortunately we lost in the Olympic final uh, on penalties uh, for free. But it was good experience, it was good fun, um, but I did obviously leave afterwards uh, to concentrate on all the shots, so that didn't, um, that didn't last very long. Uh, but it was good fun while it lasted. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. And as you can see, we are now in the championship. Uh, and the season is looking rosy. I need to bring in some more players. I need to get rid of some players. And I need to rebuild this squad uh, to take on the championship. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. Uh, if you have, please comment down below. And please share with your friends and family. And don't forget to press that subscribe button. It really does help, guys, and I it would really, I really would be grateful. Um, you may, I may even subscribe back to you if, if you're lucky. <laughs> but thank you for watching this, guys. See you next time for episode four.